Subramanian. Today I'm going to share a wonderful biryani recipe. This is mushroom biryani. Now this is a one pot dish and it's very very simple and very very tasty. So let's get started and check out the recipe. For this recipe I've taken one cup of long grain basmati rice. This is a 250 ml cup. Wash it a few times and soak it for about 30 minutes. For the biryani, first I'm going to make a masala paste. To the mixer jar, add 3 large cloves of garlic chopped, 1 piece of ginger chopped, 2 green chilies chopped, 1 tablespoon freshly grated coconut, 1 tablespoon chilli paste, this is red chilli paste, add a few mint leaves, add a few coriander leaves. Add about 2 teaspoons of water and grind the masala into a nice fine paste. For the mushroom biryani, I've taken 400 grams of fresh mushrooms. Make sure you wash it nice and clean a few times and then slice it into big pieces. Now I have not sliced it too thin, make sure the pieces are a bit thick because when you cook it, it can easily get mashed up. So make sure the pieces are a little bigger than usual. To the pressure cooker, add about 2 tablespoons of ghee. Next, add about 1 tablespoon of oil. Once the ghee is heated up, add all the whole spices. I have a piece of cinnamon, a few cloves, cardamom, star anise and bay leaf. Next, add 3 medium sized onions, finely chopped. So you can see the onions have turned to a lovely golden brown colour. Now add the ground masala paste. So after about 2 minutes, add 3 large tomatoes chopped. After about 2 to 3 minutes, add 1 teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder. Add the sliced mushrooms. Mix it all in. So the most important thing to remember while cooking with mushrooms is make sure they are nice and fresh. So you don't want any dark spots or any sort of smell coming from the mushrooms. So if you feel it seems a little odd, don't cook it, just throw it away. Next add a handful of fresh mint leaves, a handful of fresh coriander leaves. Just mix it all in. Basmati rice has been soaking for 30 minutes. Transfer the rice to the pressure cooker. Gently mix it in. So before you add the rice, check for seasoning and if you need to add any salt at this point, you can add it. So gently mix the rice in, you don't want to break it. So just be careful. Next, add one cup of water. So for this recipe, for one cup of rice, I've used one cup of water. Keeping the flame on low, Close the pressure cooker. So you can see once the steam comes, place the weight. Cook for 5 minutes after placing the weight. After 5 minutes, turn off the stove and keep the pressure cooker aside. Once the steam settles down, open the pressure cooker after 5 minutes. Wow, the mushroom biryani looks absolutely fantastic. It's cooked perfectly. You can enjoy this delicious mushroom biryani with a nice raita by the side. So 
there you go here is this absolutely delicious mushroom biryani so next time you're craving to have something really nice especially with mushrooms try this recipe you can enjoy it with some nice simple onion raita by the side so do try the recipe share it with your family and friends and enjoy